Welcome, welcome, my name is Balaj and you have on the right side the Apple iPhone 10, which is a beautiful phone and on the left side we have the Apple iPhone 8. Both have iOS 11 of the latest um, sort, 11.1 installed, but out of the box this comes with 11.1. Um, 0.1 and I will tell you in a minute why this is important but first off what are the features that are missing on an iPhone 10 uh, that you have uh, on every other phone with iOS 11 um, but not 10. Well first of all you can see here we have 90 uh, 49 percent of battery left on the iPhone 8 and which uh, you can see um, here you can activate that and uh, to see be able to see that in your settings you cannot activate that to see it here you don't have enough space on your iPhone 10 so you always have to drag down the right top corner to see the control center and then you have here your battery percentage and then you just push it back up so that's a little bit of a drawback you can see here when I go into settings and when I go to um, battery you have here the extra option to turn that on battery percentage and you don't have the option here if you go to um, the settings you can see here we go to battery and then you don't have any battery percentage option here which is a little bit sad i hope they will maybe implement uh, it for the iphone 10 to be able to and um, be right here maybe in just the icon but i'm not sure they will do that so this is the first thing that i find a little bit sad and now and um, what is saddening me also is if you have your phone and you just uh, take it in your hand let me zoom out a little bit and, and you want to unlock it with touch id you just push once and then it's unlocked you can of course uh, turn it off so you have to maybe press again to get into the um, home screen but I love it that, that it's really that quick and it really works nice. Now what you have to do is um, when you wake up the phone, look at it, it unlocks on top and nothing happens, you still have to swipe up to open. Which is a little bit annoying for me if you ask me because that's one extra step. There's a lot of arguments online going on that's not an extra step because looking at your phone is not a step. Um, but it just takes longer to do the extra movement if you ask me because I know you can also wake up your phone by just raising it but you still have to do that movement which is just a little bit annoying. What's also annoying um, about that is obviously you can um, if you have it um, lying down on the table you can double tap to wake it but it won't work unless you look at it directly you have to look at it and then you have to wake up so you have to get it again in your hand or maybe um, get over the table somehow um, so you can directly um, onto the sensor so it feels for me that it will be definitely so every uh, slower every day to use the face id with the extra step of unlocking it i hope apple would change that you can turn that off because i don't think that we definitely need that What's a little bit different also about the iPhone 10 is and the iPhone um, other versions with iOS 11 is before we just double pressed um, here the home button and then we could go here through different apps and for example just swipe up to close. Now you can um, swipe up here and then you will get your apps that are running. You don't have to double press, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. As you can see right now it does not want to for me and you can see here I have a bunch of apps running in the background but maybe I want to close iMovie because I don't need it anymore and um, the phone is getting slower. So that's how you would usually close it but let us check if it's still maybe not running in the background. Come on. No. Here we go. So let's see. It's still there. Why is it still there? Because you have to long press till these little icons are there and then you can close apps like this. That's the only way. You have to long press and that's again an extra step, which I don't understand why they can just implement it like before, just swipe it up to the top. Why do I need this animation to know where it app is, um, which is yeah, lo looking good, but why do I need that? Um, and then, uh, which um, refers to the first um, iOS 11.1 referral that we have now updated this to 11.1 is that before we had the feature to double tap the home button and then we got down a little bit here with the apps or the settings. For example, if I open up the camera, um, I can easily now reach um, when I double press here the bottom part, the top um, buttons that is not possible if you hold it like this for example with your pinky and uh, finger under the phone because you can't really easily reach the buttons there and um, it just doesn't feel right and yeah it's f for a person uh, with even smaller hands even harder so this is a really nice feature which was missing and um, when you unbox your brand new iphone 11 which is a little bit sad um but um or iphone 10 with ios 11.1 if you have updated it you can go to the settings and then the, under the general option, um, general, there you will find accessibility and then you can add here the reachability. Usually this is off, you have to go here um, to turn this on and then you can swipe up a little bit, or actually, sorry, swipe down a little bit 
um, here on the home screen and then you have the same feature um, with a really nice animation of any app so you can use it again here for your camera swipe up a little bit uh, down a little bit and then you will get your um, reachability feature also for your iPhone 10. This is quite handy and uh, but you have to know where to do it and that you have to update to iOS 11.1 first with your iPhone 10. Um, and then uh, let's uh, talk about what's again more different like for example before we just had to long press for Siri and the home button now since we don't, don't have a home button we can't do that we can't long press the home button here we have to long press the on and off switch on the side and then we get hey Siri but uh, we can still say hey Siri and then it works on both. Of course, if you have Siri enabled only then. What's again a little bit different is how do I take screenshots without a home button? Um, before we just press the on and off switch and the home button to take a screenshot. Here we go, it was quite easy. Now that doesn't work obviously. What you have to do now is press the volume up button and the um, on and off switch and then you will take also again a screenshot. That's how you do it now. And before it was a little bit different. If you press the volume down button, nothing will actually happen. The screen will turn off. So the um, screenshot is really just happening with the um, on and off switch. And this, these were the first impression um, differences between iPhone 8 and below and iPhone 10 with iOS 11. Um, what are the differences? What are the little bit annoying um, differences? And maybe Apple will obviously fix that for the iPhone 10 with an update. For example, the percentage and the home unlocking is really easy to fix. Uh, if you ask me with just a few extra settings, uh, as they did also with the um, a pull down feature with it, which is obviously um, quite nice, but you need the latest iOS uh, for that. So thanks much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Balaj, and these were the iOS 10, uh, you could also say, tiny tips and tricks if you are just an iPhone 8 user before.